Okay. So today's webinar is dedicated uh, using the TILAS or TILAS in uh, high-rise building projects. So for those who has who has who is new to this topic, I'd like to give a first just a short information about the TILAS and who is a linear project. Uh, first of all, uh, linear project it's a German uh, TILAS it's a German based program, and uh, however it's been acquired by Trimble in the beginning of the 2015. It's in the market more than 20 years. Uh, well, for now, TILUS is available in more than 10 languages and uh, top of the 10 major European companies actually using the TILUS for their construction, uh, for their projects actually. Well, we have here uh, on the left side, uh, top 10 construction companies in Germany who are using the TILUS and uh, 9 out of the 10 companies are using the TILUS for their needs. Uh, on, the, on the right side we are seeing that uh, the world's 200 largest construction companies who are using the TILUS, most probably one of your uh, one of you guys are already using the TILUS and or uh, your company is using the TILUS. So we have a um, Beside the Germany or Europe, we have the Asia customer map. You can see we have in Singapore, in Pakistan, for instance, in China or India, Malaysia, Indonesia, South Korea. A lot of companies, quite big companies, are using the TILUS for their projects. In Europe, in the Middle East, I can see that we have a lot of attendees from Saudi Arabia. So we can see that we have some uh, clients or customers who are using the TILUS as well, like Bombardier for the Metro Riyadh, Saudi Bin Laden Group, Ole Parsons. In the, uh, Qatar also, we have uh, uh, Alice G. Parsons, QDVG. So this is the short introduction about the uh, client base. So let's switch to the linear project characteristics. Well, when we are talking about the linear project characteristics, uh, is we are taking into the consideration that first of all, it has a row. So it has a row and axis where the works are actually performing. Where we can see this, we can see this in the pipeline, railway, highway, engineering transmission, or tunneling, or high-rise building project. So mostly it contains the repetitive activities. And uh, well, our goal is here to optimize the productivity rate, reduce the project duration, visualization of the project data, and reducing the overall cost. So, in which industry actually we are, we can implement the TILUS. We can implement the TILUS in transmission line, pipeline projects, in highway road bridges projects, high-rise building projects, railway project, metro and tunnel projects. So, our webinar is dedicated to the high-rise building projects. I'll be more focused. Uh, on the high-rise building project. So we can use the TILUS at any stage, any project stage. It can be in the feasibility studies, overall plan, plan production plans, special studies. It can be used for uh, pre-design planning, procurement, execution, or for the claim analysis. And it can be owned by the uh, contractors, subcontractors, owners, or any engineering companies. Well, I'd like to uh, give some advantages and disadvantages actually regarding the using the standard gun chart diagram let's say so as you can see on my screen we have a gun chart view well i would like to uh, admit that it's very good where we can see each activities on this uh, separate line We're also the data uh, spreadsheet for the detailed information good display of the links and the critical path uh, direct relations to the time axis so we can use actually our tasks are on a time axis very good and it's, it's the most popular display in the project planning however I would like to say that we can we don't have any visualization visual relation to the location of the task or activities and uh, when we are having the uh, large project charts like it's kind of confusing it's unclear sometimes and we are printing a lot of papers uh, so by this way i would like to say that the tilus gives us opportunity to see what is built when and where so um, as you can see we have a report 
on uh, primary p6 it's a 40 pages and we have the same report in one page so in this case we have a time axis and a distance axis and we are able to see what is built when and where so uh, this is a short like the distinguishing information uh, how we can distinguish our Tiles, what is the uh, uh, best way in order to use the tiles? So we can see here the standard traditional Gantt chart, like we can see it in uh, Primavera P6, Microsoft Project, or Astapro Project, where we have only one axis, which is the time. However, in uh, tiles, we use a two dimension, two axis, which is the time and the distance. So in this case, we have a distance as a floor levels, for instance, over here and the time here so all our activities are in the right in the middle so actually how the tiles works for the high-rise building project uh, we have a, on the left side we have a location and on the uh, top we have a time so as you can see like we'll start the first project but first activities but before it I'd like to say that what we can see here on the location on location we are able to uh, set up our uh, floors the number of the floors and the distance and the meters for instance on which meter in which floor is starting so we have the uh, first activities and uh, we can say the first activity is starting in January and it starts from the uh, baseline or the base level base level and it goes it will take us uh, two and a half months in order to complete it until the second floor starts so the same we are going to the next activities and we are able to see that this activity will take us the five five and a half months so it will start from the base level uh, one or zero and it will finish until the second floor starts so all our activities are going up this way. So as we know the structure of the uh, construction of the high-rise buildings, we're starting from the zero level and going uh, up. So besides that, TILIS has a, a quite good data exchange models, such as uh, we are able to get the necessary data from the Excel or the copying from the clipboard. Also, it has the integration with the Primavera P6, Asta Power Project, and uh, Microsoft Project as well. Well, uh, I'll switch to the live demonstration now. Okay. All right. So I'll show you the project which we'll be working on. Well, we cr will be creating the uh, some of the activities in order to see it. So what we can see in this uh, project, we have a uh, drawings, the quite graphical illustration. These drawings can we can get these drawings from the CAD, so it can automatically get the drawings from the CAD files or JPEG or any. Uh, PNG JPEG files, so we can get it. As you can see, it is all simulated. We can see that this is a high-rise building, and this is a 280 meters building. So each floors are divided. So for those who are familiar with Stylus, usually we have a distance on the top and the time axis on the left side or the right side, but in this case, we are using the vice versa. So we'll have a distance axis on the right side and the um, time axis on the top of the spreadsheet. Okay. So uh, let's start with creating the for our first activities in order to create the first activities for those who are familiar it's very easy for those who are not we have here the uh, insert the task button so in this case I would like to insert just first let's say the 
start milestone. So we can say that our milestone will start in January and say in January. So by clicking to the task, we have here the quick navigation bar where the time and the distance the duration is very important. So in this case, I would like to have from the zero until the 300. So we'll use it until all the long our project. So I have just inserted the milestone and the time of the, the start of the milestone, let's say it will start in January the last day of the January, 31st of the January. Okay, right now we have inserted our milestone. Let's switch to the uh, structure works, for instance. We'll do the same. We are adding the activity and we go to the superstructure works. So once I have selected the superstructure works, I have to draw my superstructure. So I'll, I'll start drawing my superstructure. Let's say we will go until the 12th floor. Okay. So, beside the information that we have, what is the name of this activity, when is the start and the finish date, we're also able to display the information, for instance, what we can see. We can see that this is the uh, name of this activity, the superstructure activity. We can see the task ID if it has some World breakdown structure, it's also possible to indicate it. So we are choosing the which calendar it's using. Although as a teal tile, it has a, a various option on the uh, calendars. We are also able to create our own calendar if it's required. The categories and the structure, display options. So in the display options, we are able to edit our task to give a cosmetic works, let's say. Well, on the coordinates, we have the duration information, we have a start and end date, then we have a coordinate start distance and the uh, end distance, also as well as a length. When we go to the uh, calculation point, we are able to see that we are calculating right now the duration, and the duration is right now showing our uh, as a 76 days. We are able to uh, change it to the 50 days, however we would like. So, also there is a links and constraints. We'll be linking our activities later on. We can also show the floats. We can also show our allocation, the resources planned and actual, also the cost information, if it's required, the uh, progress and the rest. So, uh, let's move to the calculation point. Besides that, we have a several methods in order to calculate our task. So in this case, uh, let's say we'll choose the duration, and I would like to have, a, for instance, a quantity of 45,000, but not meter cubics. But in this case, we'll use units. So units and can uh, enter it. And we have a work rate. We have a planned work rate, for instance, as a 500 units per hour. So we can see that our activity right now switched and it will take only 11 days. So we are not able to change it here. If we choose, for instance, the 300, Talos automatically calculates the duration of the activity as 19 days. If we'll use as a 200. As you can see, it's changed. Duration right now changed for the 28 days. But besides the calculating duration, we are able also uh, to calculate the productivity rate by the productivity rate. So what I will do here, I'll go to my distance profiles and I have a elevate, uh, level pr productivity rate. If I double click on the level productivity rate, I have here my information regarding the distance, the name, productivity per hour, and speed, quantity, and the work rate information. So this information we can get from the Excel. So for each level, we have our own dis distance information and the productivity rate. So we can see that this is a first. So uh, on the 50 meters, we have a productivity rate is a one. 
uh, on 100 meters as a 1.3 and 150 we have a 3. Okay, so what we do in this case, we, we uh, click on our task. Uh, then we set up, we have to uh, calculate the, our duration according to the data profile. So what we choose here, we choose the duration from data profile. And the profile, we have to choose which profile are we going to use. In this case, I would like to use our level relativity rate because the tile is getting information from there. So once I have selected, uh, I would like to change, set the quantity as a task lens, and I will use here the profile data information. And I would like to create not the absolute work rate, but the productivity level. So as you can see, my task changed. Just a second. Okay, my task changed. I would like to put my the quantity factor as a one. So right now, what we can see is the difference. While I'm increasing, I'm going up, we're able to see that we have not just a straight line, but our line getting some kind of curve. So by this way, we can see that on which level our productivity rate changed and our task also changed. So by this way, we are able to calculate the duration and the quantity and the work rate as well that it indicates it and it will take that 79 days in order to complete it. So I would like to go forward until the 150 meters in this case. If I'll take, I'll zoom out, we're able to see it. Okay, so um, the next option, like we not only we are able to see it from here, but if I'll go to the gun chart, oops. here our superstructure activities. If I'll go here, and then I'll take that the horizontal. So, what I would like to say that uh, Talas has a gun chart. So, for those who are not familiar with it, I would like to show the difference. So, while we are changing our activity on our time location diagram, it is also changing on our gun chart. So, the same way if I'm changing my uh, activity on the gun chart, as a time base, it's also changed on my time location screen. Same way. Okay. Okay. So we have created the our first activities, which is under until the hundred meters. And we would like to create our my second activity. What I would like to say it will be electricity works. So uh, I'm creating one my electricity works. Let's say I'll create it from the base level one. Then we have a second, first floor, and the second floor, and so on. Let's say okay. So. We can see it right here. So I am also available uh, available to link them. So we can link them. Now I am linked them, and I'm pressing the reschedule button. And you can see my activities are right now going right on the way. So the method of the linking, the relationship is uh, uh, finish to start relationship. That's why it's showing. When we go to the gun chart, we can see that it's in a standard way. In the gun chart, we can see that it is divided here, but we don't have any information on the location point. However, we are able to see the information about the location on our uh, time location diagram. Well, it is possible, of course, to create the repetitive activities. As you know, we are using repetitive activities in all linear projects. So in this case, I would like to create a repetitive task. We'll use electricity works. We can uh, 
use the duration but I would like to get the repeat options from the distance profile and in, in this case uh, I will use my profile information as the first profile so what we have here it is we have a distance we have a name we have a description the type but the type is not important in this case most important is the distance and the name so the each floor we have a distance the same information I have on my Excel so I have we can import it from the Excel as well okay so I would like to have a task between and I will use a, um, so I would like to start from the zero until the hundred meters let's say then we also have we can link them the method of the linking we can link the task and the task creation names we can use from the profile name so let's see what the talus will give us okay so we have another curve of the activities as you can see right now it's created until the hundred meters all activities are separated besides that it is already we have uh, allocated the resource information We're also able to import the uh, cost information so let's say uh, I'd like to have to start this one as a link to the superstructure start to start with the linking relationship to start to start and we can able to give the lag for instance I would like to give a lag of the 30 days okay once I have rescheduled my activity I'm able to see it but in this case I would like to go back go back and delete this one Make this oh, say the 70 days now so right now the uh, we, we can see that we have uh, two activities on our time location diagram and the first it has a relation to with uh, uh, electricity works as a start to start however between the floors all the electricity works we are able to see that this is the start to finish relationship on the, our uh, high rise I mean on our gun chart view we are able to see that this is right now displaying in this way it is has an information about the floor but still it's not what we are looking for let me add um, another activity which for instance will use the plumbing works let's say plumbing works we're taking the same information from the distance profile and we use this profile information then it will it will be have the same start and end distance so once I click OK we can see it brought us the our plumbing works so what I would like to do is I would like to use the link them and give the duration for instance as 20 days black okay so now we can see that our second activity is already created this is not if our uh, first task is superstructure task has a one line this activities as information for the each floor so it's a floor based information and is divided and separated we can uh, change the duration of it as well so once we change the duration of it if we uh, reschedule the rest of our activities is automatically is going to be rescheduled okay so <laughs> as a talus as beside the uh, only gun chart and the uh, time location view we are also to see we are able to see as a uh, excel based view so, 
So we can see we have all information about our activity. Besides that, we can also uh, have a filter on it, and we are able to filter it regarding the base. For instance, we have a bay here, all information of the start and end and end, distance information. If we have a quantity inserted, we have a quantity. If we have a work, work rate. So uh, let me switch on right now and show you my, our what is uh, actually the high-rise building, the finished project. I'll switch in. Okay. So what we have here, we have a base. You know the information about the base, when, which activity is this. So we can see that this is a, a structure core wall. And the second activity is uh, structure outside the core wall, architectural works, and so on. So beside the linear activities, we are also able to show um, a structural work, let's say not which are the activities which are based only on the time axis. So for instance, some logistical works where the distance is not important. However, we have to show it. So we are using them as a time based. So we know when and when it's supposed to be done. So this information, for instance, as well as uh, procurement works, we can show them below so what we have here we have some procurement works these are not related to the location however it's related to the time so, uh, but we are able to show them uh, in our project as well so right now let me go and switch on to the uh, output of our project let's say we have here yeah. Hong Kong skyscraper. This is what we have. So beside the uh, time and location, time axis and the uh, location axis information, we are able to show some information regarding our resource information. So we can uh, we are able to see who and where are going to work during this time of the during this moment so we can see the numbers of allocated resources which are based on the time also we are able to put them based on the location so we can see the assistant the foreman operator this is information based on the location however we are also available to indicate in one uh, layout let's say one report our labor hours, so this our labor hours, labor information, the concrete and the steel, for instance, because this is one of the uh, most used materials. So this is the information what we have. Besides that, we can also display the cost and income, and if we require the cash flow as well. So what we needed here, we have a company details and the project details, which we can also, the logo of the company. On the uh, time axis, we are also able to put our cash flow. So we can see the uh, payments and the cost up to date and have a S curve. So, and the legend. So the legend helps us in order to differentiate uh, which activity is this? For instance, it's a bay, so it's a structural activities. For instance, this is a bay information, so it is the same. The structure, civil works, all the legend is available to display. Another uh, example, what we have here is the, uh, another building in Germany. So this is a 21 meter, um, let's say, building. So what we have here is we have the integrated floor plan. So this is the floor plan. Then we have a uh, superstructure works. So this is the yellow one is the superstructure works. 
with this green line is the data date. Then, for instance, we have the red one is uh, cladding activity. And interior works counts as a green. So this is a sample report what we can what you can achieve in tiles. Do you have any questions until now? Okay. So um, this is almost pretty much it of it. However, uh, one more thing I would like to say is uh, for those who are in uh, Qatar, in Doha, we'd like to invite you to the conference which will be held on the 8th of December in the uh, Copteron Hotel. And the uh, title of the conference will be the Project Visualization Beam and Linear Planning. So it is the FND and CMCS Qatar, which is our the local representative in Qatar, who would like to invite you to this conference. We'll have a lot of useful information, which will help you in your future career or for the project development. Okay, so this is much to it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. If you require more detailed information, we are able to have one-to-one -one webinar. So thank you very much.